And as the rains continue wreaking havoc in many parts of the country, a man who was trapped at 14 Falls in Kilimambogo area in Thika Kiambo County was on Sunday rescued by police using a helicopter. Vincent Musila had been stuck there since Friday after he was swept away by floods while fishing. For three days since Friday, Vincent Musila had become an attraction for the people who came here wondering just how he could have found himself in the middle of raging flood waters, waters that have claimed the lives of many Kenyans in the recent weeks. He will be seen often pacing up and down with his hands in his pockets as his neighbors diligently and effortlessly tried to find ways to rescue him. But when that failed, Musila will sit down and stare at the waters whose roar had become louder with every passing wave. This was Sunday evening and those who had watched him since he was cut off from the world state that this makeshift house was his shelter before the floodwaters occupied that too. But as time passed by with every effort proving futile and with the volume of the waters increasing, the despair that they would watch Musila's life licked away was reversed when police on a chopper came to his rescue. A sigh of relief for a man who had his own episode of the survivor, though different given that he was all alone for those three days. But how exactly did Vincent Musilla find himself stuck at Fortin Falls in the first place? <laughs> Friday, Tioni Lifikanga Hapo. Maji Likuja Kingafla, Nikenda Hapo Akugua na Maji. Maji Likuja Kingafla Kondat Kambeli, Ikawa Mesazi Kila Paalis Vesifuka. The waters had also swept away his fishing canoe, stripping him of anything else he was familiar with. The Mesi Vibaya Sana Kabaridi, Kaja, Umbuni Yingi Sana Uko, Kunamamba Skoko. His survival has, however, taught him one thing. Though he might have appeared okay, shocked, mixed with relief, his neighbors knew that what he needed the most was at least a good cup of warm tea and a plate of food. His a narrative of a lucky escape. Raquel Mugai, Citizen TV.